Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lemon here back with another reading on Reminiscent. Thank you so much for tuning into this message. Whether you're new or returning, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Um, definitely share the video with whom you think um, this will resonate for. Leave a comment below should you resonate with this message in any way, shape, and form. Um, any positivity is definitely worth mentioning, okay? Um, if you're looking for a personal reading, you can find that information. Um, it will be available in the description box below. Um, right now, um, I'm open um, to taking readings at this time. You can purchase the type of reading that you want and we can schedule um, a session one-on-one or we can do pre-recorded. All right, so let's get into a cancer energy. You got the chariot here that came out. So you're up next, cancer. Let's see what message the divine energy has for you. Okay, the soul man and Magdalene. Okay. All right, so. Gonna get into the message. Right now, I'm gonna say cancer energy. Mary Magdalene um, was an assisting energy to Jesus. She was very much a god, goddess energy type of woman. Um, she had a strong faith. Okay, let's see what message we have for you. So let's pull three. We have Ashira. She's coming out. Um, Black Moon Lilith Gemini. Liberate your truth. Okay, and the nodes of the moon release clear and align. Interesting. Okay, at the bottom we have calcination, dark night of the soul. All right, so I, one thing I was noticing too, looking at this deck um, or this card, is the black and white um, sphinxes at the bottom. And it's like, that kind of was jumping out to me. Um, and this dark night of the soul kind of like confirmed for me. <laughs> like, why am I looking at this? What is it I'm um, trying to say? But it's like the shifting from dark to light. You may have to um, receive information or dish out information or both. That has a lot to do with being truthful. Gemini energy uh, material is about communication and connection. It is an air sign, so it does have to do with the, the mental. And the throat chakra has a lot to do with listening, sound, um, what's coming from the ethers. Okay? And you may be asked to release, clear, and align your energy. And that can kind of trigger the dark night of the soul. And the dark night of the soul... Um, has a 33. I'm going to just briefly get into that. Okay, the calcination phase shadow work. You can integrate the first step of calcination by identifying what should be purged in your life. Take a moment to journal your thoughts and emotions during this process. Prepare for an ego death or shedding of your old self. Allow the ashes to fall away so that your true self remains. Okay, and it's the number 33 on this um, card which 33 is a master number okay a master teacher um it goes in <laughs> three or three makes six <laughs> okay so that has a lot to do with being responsible okay especially when it comes to family we have the mother gods here six is also a number of pregnancy creation creatrix even that's the word we use <laughs> for divine feminine energy being a creator um, but it also has a lot to say about, um, liberating yourself 
through shedding old personalities or maybe even old ways of communicating or no longer talking to certain people or finding new ways to communicate with the higher realms. Right now, the nodes are square to you, Cancer energy. So where we have Cancer is being squared by the North and South Node in Aries and Libra. And the way out of that energy is through your sister sign, Capricorn, which is to be diligent and hardworking in building the reality that you want to build. Okay, having some discipline. So let's go to number 20, Ashira, who was a Semitic goddess, who was the queen consort of the Supreme God El and fertile mother of 70 gods. She worshiped, she worshiped alongside El, but ultimately her presence led to suppression when patriarchally based monotheism took hold. Ashira is another example of how powerful dark feminine figures have been demonized by male dominated religious patriarchy. She was considered evil, a false god that one should not worship for fear of punishment. Men were supposed to lead the church with women as subservient and silent. So that may be the issue here. <laughs> Is that you need to speak up? You may have been um, dominated or someone is trying to dominate your voice. They may try to speak for you um, or speak on something regarding you without you having any insight. So they're kind of like, somebody is making decisions on your behalf without you. And um, it says here, even demonized Queen Jezebel worshiped Asherah, having dedicated pagan rituals and ceremonies to the queen goddess. Not only was she a goddess and deity, but Asherah was also the name for sacred ceremonial poles or trees used on ancient pagan altars. It is theorized that they were used to worship and venerate the goddess. These Asherah poles were typically used in pagan practices, but were later banned and demonized by religious patriarchy. Nurture yourself, heal, and tap into the wisdom of the Supreme Goddess. Okay? So, yeah, I'm definitely getting for you Cancer energy, wherever you have Cancer in your chart, that there's this energy that is trying to suppress you. Or they're just making decisions for you without even talking to you about it. Okay? And you may get the feeling that something's off or something needs to be cleared up. And you may just have to, you know, step up and check somebody. I feel like you're going to know who this is or who this is about the further we get into this message. Okay? So... Let's see here. We have the Magician, Gemini energy here. Yes. The World card. Okay, we got two majors. Three majors. The Death card. Wow. I feel like this has to do with a contract. The Magician is, is, is screaming contract. Binding with the World card and the Death card. It may have to do with a death certificate. Or has something to do with a death certificate. Or someone who died. There was agreement that was made regarding the death of someone. Someone said something or made a decision on your behalf. And they may have thought it was best for you. I'm with the um fairy godmother here. They may have thought it would be best for you. Um or best for the relationship that they have with you because it could be familial. Gemini is family. And um, this is Saturn, which has to do with the father figure. Um, however, um, it could definitely be related to someone's child. Um, somebody passed away. And the children or someone's child is kind of looking into behind the curtain of kind of like what happened they're trying to dig and figure out what's happening there's some type of limitation here because something is unfolding like something is being discovered i'm also seeing that the magician with the world 
is the magician or the fairy godmother, which could be you or someone else, or I could definitely see this as an ancestor um, that you were very close to, someone you were very close to. They're kind of like turning the page or turning on the light in your mind's eye to help you see what is going on or sense what's going on or what's been going on for a while now that you may not have known that someone was looking into some type of paperwork about someone's death. Okay, let's look at this number three here, separate your truth. I just hope it doesn't end in an argument. <laughs> Um, verbal conflict, first thing, first two words, okay. Verbal conflict may be on its way. And this oracle card want, wants to help you speak your truth. When Black Lilith and Libra, I mean Black Lilith and Gemini, okay, definitely have to do with relationships because I said Libra. When Black Moon Lilith and Gemini shows up, it's time for you to alchemize the shadow limiting your voice. I feel like a lot of what's limiting you is the relationship. You're trying to preserve a relationship as much as possible, but I don't think that's really your responsibility right now. Release attachment around what others say about you. Gemini rules over the voice and communication. You also could have the power of struggles in your life surrounding you on how to communicate. This trauma response could come from being silenced as a child. Your voice is your superpower, and understanding this will help you activate it. Aretha Franklin, <laughs> whose Black Moon Lilith was in Gemini, makes a lot of freaking sense, uh, lost her mother at 10 years old. She couldn't speak for weeks. She endured so many hardships in life, including abuse, and it was her voice that brought her out of despair. You may channel your creativity into moodier forms of writing or expression. The meaning of magical word abracadabra is Hebrew for I will create as I speak. Mercury, Gemini's planetary ruler, associated with Hermes, the god of knowledge, who created alchemy. Your voice is the magic wand you use to create your reality. You can alchemize this shadow into light by speaking your truth. Conflict and arguments may come your way. Don't allow others to suppress your voice. Yeah, I feel like somebody's going to lie and try to say that that's not what they're doing. Or they may try to lie to you and say, like, they're just, somebody's being very deceitful. And it has to do with someone who passed away. They're hiding information. Or they're telling you they're not looking into something. But they are. And it is going to cause a blow up or some type of argument because... It's really no reason to withhold information from somebody. And Spirit is going to give you the keys to figure it out anyway. So, I was like, I was hoping this doesn't have to be an argument. But it may have to be, honestly. Alright, so we have the lovers. Another major. <laughs> Gemini, Venus, energy. Queen of Wands. Okay, that's the person who's on the outside looking in. And we got the Two of Wands. Okay. Yeah. Definitely a relationship here. Every time I see this card, because of who the god is, it's January for me. This is Janus. This is the god, Roman god that represent doorways and was the earliest um, deity that was recognized in Roman mythology. So this may have to do with someone who passed away in January born in January or the incident incident may have occurred in January or this is was covered up this coming January um but um yeah there's someone here who they're giving you the intel they've given you some type of information to let you know and they're not involved in it but they're telling you things to help you put things together to see both sides of what's actually going on instead of just looking at it from one perspective. So, and this person may be guided to do that given whoever 
um, your angel guide is or a specific ancestor, which I feel like they've been, they were with you throughout your childhood. That specific ancestor wants to see you happy and complete so you can move on to the next chapter of your life. But there's something that you have to go back and review. And with that being said, um, they're using someone to relay messages to you about information that you need to know in order for you to walk through this doorway of truth so you can see things as they actually are. Because a lot of it has been hidden from you. And this is what's going to elicit the conversation that needs to be had um, with this fire sign or fire energy. Um, I feel like they don't want... To they don't want to let you in on that they found something or they found out about something and are not telling you. But it's again, it has to be, it's connected to something or someone who passed away. They're not trying to share that information with you. They don't want to tell you for whatever reason. We're going to look more into that later. Okay, let's look at this 32, the nodes. 32 breaks down to a five. Okay, release, clear, and align. Prepare yourself. Life changes are coming. Um, I definitely see travel. Traveling somewhere, going somewhere. You could possibly be moving somewhere. But definitely traveling. Traveling could be physically going somewhere very far from home, or you can actually be, again, learning about something. With all this Gemini energy, you find like a letter or an email or some post on social media, like some small bit of information can turn into you deep diving and digging into a whole scope of you know something pertaining to law something that's legal or illegal it says when the nose of the moon card appears direction and shifts are headed your way you are releasing limited habits old behaviors and situations that have blocked your progress talents ideas and new opportunities will soon emerge creating pleasure in your life while change can bring discomfort it's important to surrender you're moving toward a more fulfilling direction that will light up your soul, connecting you with source. It's time for you to awaken to the truth of who you are and align with your higher self. The north and south nodes, also called the lunar nodes, extremely important points in astrology. They're not planets. They are where the moon crosses path with the sun's ecliptic. As a result, they always 180 degrees opposite from one another. Like right now, Aries is the north node and we run the south node. Can't have transformation, solar or lunar eclipses without the north and south nodes of the moon. In Vedic, they're called Rahu and Ketu, a demon snake in Hindu mythology. The north and south nodes represent our karmic life direction. South node indicates talents you've mastered in the past, natural strengths, comfort zone. And the north node is where your soul is trying to go, the talent that you must develop in this lifetime. It is where you will feel most fulfilled. Most of us learn our south node early in life before we feel the sting of misalignment and are influenced to make a change. Time to release the fear of all patterns that are holding you back. Yeah, I feel like you need to be somewhere else in the world that you're not right now. And the only way you're going to get there is when you speak up, take what's yours unapologetically. It is going to ruffle some feather. It is going to cause some discomfort to... A group of people definitely familial in some form or fashion or people you're close to people in your neighborhood somebody that's holding withholding information from you and them and you getting to a bit of a tiff verbally is gonna cause you to go deep diving into how you can legally correct the situation because you're in the right to have access or knowledge to whatever information they're withholding. Um, Venus is here, so it could be related to material goods, abundance, some type of wealth. 
um because something came out something got exposed but you're not aware of it yet but you're you're figuring it out you're learning what it is step by step and part of you learning what that is is you having all these ideas and thoughts and feelings that you need to do something beyond what you've been doing but what's holding you back or whatever is blocking you may be related to funding money location um that may be limiting you so the reason why this is so hard on you is because someone is blocking your money someone is blocking your flow and the information is coming to you bit by bit you're figuring it out piece by piece but you need to maybe go into a deeper meditative state and ask whoever this guide is for assistance or support on how you can kind of blow the lid off this thing. And it is going to come with a bit of a fight and some type of legal action may have to be taken, but I think more so when it comes to the legal part, you just need to know. You need to have that 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 knowledge of how things can go legally should they refuse um, to be authentic, be transparent, be truthful, honest um, about what's really going on. I don't know how that could come up in conversation, but I kind of see it as like having a ca casual conversation, catching up with someone and letting them know that, you know, they feel like there's something out there or there there's specifically some money out there, you know it is. And legally, this is what you can do to take action if someone was to keep that money from you. And it may elicit that person to say, hey, well, I found this and this in the mail. And, you know, <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to provoke someone to be like, okay, okay, let me stop doing this. Okay. But the reason why you feel so guided to go in all these new directions and all these new paths, but then you feel like this, I can't do it because of this. Someone is holding on to money that you deserve and you may not want to force it or provoke a situation that may turn out, you know, to negatively impact people. But why would you not? Like, <laughs> it's yours, rightfully. All right. So we have the three points. There's the contract or agreement that need to work with. Um, cooperation, compromise. You got the chariot card coming out again. This is Cancer Energy. Victory moving forward. And then we got the hangman here, having a whole new perspective. Ace of Wands at the bottom. Okay. There's a small window of opportunity here that needs to be taken advantage of. I feel like the dark knot of the soul is only you having conflict about you know, getting out of the comfort zone that you've been in, that self node energy, where, you know, relationships have been maintained a certain way. And it's time to kind of rock the boat a bit. You have a, maintained a certain type of energy with your dreams and your goals, but now it's time for you to rock the boat a little bit by stepping out of your comfort zone and getting into whatever it is you truly want to do. And that is going to require support. It is going to require funding. It is going to require a new routine, a new mindset, things of that nature, which is going to be a whole new transformation for you. Okay, hangman energy. You're going right into getting a whole new perspective on life, period. The sooner you take action on the things that are actually yours. And yes, there are going to be a couple people. <laughs> I'm hearing parents. There are going to be a couple people who are upset with you, but who cares? What's divinely right for le legally yours is yours. And can't nobody keep that from you. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here, Cancer Energy. Um, thank you so much for tuning into this message. I hope it finds you well. And until next time, peace and hair grease. <laughs>